Okay. Or the best of Surah Wadha Aidan. Shukran. So, um, my name is um, uh, Ali Bukabash, and today's session will uh, be looking at, um, in, 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 in some detail, at two of the resources uh, available to you by the Saudi Digital Library. So, we'll be looking at BMJ Learning, which is currently available to you. We'll also look at uh, BMJ Best Practice, uh, how to navigate through uh, the, uh, the site, uh, it's a clinical decision support tool, and we'll also have a look at how to download the uh, BMJ Best Practice app so that you can use all of the content offline on your mobile devices. And then we'll finish off by um, just showing you um, or mentioning your access to the journals. We'll try and leave some time for questions at the end also. But uh, if you do have any queries whilst the session is running, please feel free to ask. Uh, before we do all of that, we'll start with a quick introduction to BMJ. So who are we? Uh, BMJ is a uh, global uh, healthcare knowledge provider, and our mission is to improve healthcare worldwide. Um, and we do that by sharing our knowledge and expertise in order to improve experiences, outcomes, and value. Um, some more information about us. So we're owned by the British Medical Association. We've been going for 175 years. And we have customers in almost 230 countries, uh, of course, uh, uh, including many of your neighboring countries. So BMJ Learning. Um, I've just got a question uh, there at the moment. Um, I'll mention my email address towards the end as well. So, um, so my email address will be up towards the end as well. So, um, as I said, about BMJ Learning is one of the world's most trusted uh, independent online learning resources for students and medical professionals. Uh, it has over um, 1,000 evidence-based peer-reviewed interactive learning modules, and they cover a wide of um, clinical and non-clinical topics. Um, some of the modules uh, present a, a clinical scenario, uh, and thus giving you the opportunity to apply the learned knowledge. Um, the website is interactive, as I said, and it includes uh, videos or audio um, and various uh, other formats. Uh, we'll, we'll look at that later. All of the uh, learning module that you complete um, can be recorded and tracked using uh, BMJ Portfolio, which is a free tool um, that can be used not only to manage your learning um, on BMJ Learning, but to manage uh, all of your um, online learning. Okay, so these are just types of um, learning modules. Um, as you can see, uh, different people may prefer different uh, ways of learning. So here, for instance, we have um, modules with video or animation. You'll see these little symbols, symbols later on. Um, some read, reflect, respond modules. Um, we have multiple choice question modules. So these modules are generally based on a research article, so whereby you, whereby you read a research article on one of our journals, um, and then you can take a test uh, to test your understanding of that particular article. Um, I'm now listing a number um, or some of the popular modules uh, in Saudi. So these are the modules that your colleagues uh, are completing. In terms of access, so um, access can be done through the Ministry of Health, I'm sorry, through the uh, Saudi Digital Library portal. So once you've reached the Saudi Digital portal, you can click on uh, by category. And then you can select medical sciences. And then BMJ Learning uh, will be uh, here on the first page. What I'd like you to do now is to actually register on the resource and for that, I will send you a link uh, using the chat, and I'd like um, all of you to register on the tool um, uh, with me 
uh, as we speak. So uh, let's do that now. So I've just sent a link. I, I would like all of you to uh, try and follow me and just register on the site by clicking on the link that I've sent you. So and, I'll, and we'll do that at the uh, same time here. So the link I've sent will take you to this page. So all you need to do uh, from the link I've sent you, once you get here, is to enter your email address. Enter a password. You enter a password. Uh, select your profession. And then click yes to be kept, uh, kept up to date. Uh, please do not select BMA number or access code. Please leave these options uh, alone. Uh, and just create and uh, click on create account. So once you've done that, uh, you'll be able to use BMJ Learning. You'll be able to use the tool. You'll also be able to use directly uh, from, uh, from uh, using any device. You'll also be able to use the other resources, uh, for example, BMJ Best Practice. You can use it directly using the same username and password you've created here. And you'll be able to download the BMJ Best Practice app and use exactly the same username and password. Um, if you do have any queries, uh, I hope you're registering as, as, as I speak. If you do have any queries, uh, please go ahead and ask uh, in relation to this uh, uh, simple um, registration process. Any queries so far? OK. What I'll do, I'll uh, now move on. But I'll come back uh, to this step towards the end as well, in case uh, people haven't uh, done this yet. Okay, so the next time you log in, um, you can just uh, go directly to learning.bmj.com. You can either click on existing users and enter your email address and password here. Otherwise, you just click on sign in at the top and enter your email address and the password you've created. So I'm entering my uh, password now. OK, so once um, you've logged into the site, or the first time you create your account, um, you'll see a different page. Uh, it will be a page uh, that tells you how to navigate around the site. Um, to go back to your own personal page, you just need to click on BMJ Learning, which is uh, the, the logo on the top left corner. So there is, um, there are two ways of finding modules to complete uh, on BMJ Learning. But before we do that, well, let's just have a look at the main page. So this is my own personal portfolio. Uh, it will have links to the modules uh, I've started recently. If I scroll down, you'll also have uh, on your main uh, page links to some popular modules or recent modules. You will also have uh, links recommended for you based on your profession and specialty. So once you've done that simple registration process, um, what uh, you can also do uh, at a later stage is you can also update your details. So if you click on check your details, you can just click on there, and you're able to update your profession uh, so that we can suggest some modules for you to complete. Let's now look at um, the ways in which we can find modules. So you can either search. So if I click start typing, you'll see a number of suggested modules appearing. If I search for diabetes, uh, you'll see here the results. And you notice these little icons that we saw earlier during the presentation. So this will tell you um, the type of contents that the module has. So for instance, 
this particular module has some uh, um, video content. For example, uh, there's some audio content here, a multiple choice question module here. Most modules um, vary between 30 minutes to an hour uh, to complete. So before we uh, start a module, uh, let's just look at the other way of finding modules, which is to browse by specialty. So let me click here now. If I click on browse by specialty, I'm now able to um, either select the groupings on the left. Uh, some, some of these are um, uh, specialties uh, and some others are just groupings. For instance, we've grouped all the video modules together in one place here. So that's the other way of finding modules and that is to browse. Um, if I go back to my search, I'll try and find a module um, that I've not uh, done before. Uh, let, let me try this one. Okay, this is a module I haven't done before. So what, what, what happens when you click on a module? Uh, you have the, the first module page which tells you a little bit more about the module. For instance, the targeted audience. Uh, this is uh, has a, a large target audience. It's uh, uh, everyone. That is just each amal. Okay. So once you've registered, um, you can just click on BMJ Learning on the top left corner. Sorry, that's a question. The the uh, the, 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 uh, the attendee is asking that is asking what 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 should you do after registering. Um, you can just click on BMJ Learning, and then you're able to start using the tool. But for now, you can just follow my um, demonstration. Um, and then you can probably choose a module of your own uh, after the session to complete. So um, on the main page, so as I said, we have some information about the type of content of the module, uh, who it's aimed at. You have some reviews about uh, the module done by people who have completed the module. And then you have the uh, learning outcomes and information about the um, uh, the authors of the module. So what you what you're able to do uh, if you have the time, you can start the module. But if you're you don't have the time to start the module, but you're still interested in it, then you can just add it to your portfolio by clicking Add to Portfolio, and you can start it at a later time. Um, I click on Start Module, uh, and then we'll try and go through the module. So this is the first page here. It's uh, uh, laying the learning outcomes again. You can see on the top here, it's showing me the, uh, the how, how much I've progressed. And through the module, uh, this bar here will uh, show me the progress I've made. So the idea is quite simple. So you just read the content, uh, view the, um, the, the the videos if there are any, and uh, Go to the bottom of the page, save and continue, or um, submit your um, answers. For example, um, an example of a um, of an audio. So, as I said earlier, there are different types of um, uh, modules. Some of them would start by a pretest, and then it shows you some contents, uh, and then you have a post-test at the end, uh, and then you can uh, you're given the opportunity to evaluate what you've learned by doing the uh, particular module. I've just selected an answer there. Uh, and as you can see, uh, I'm provided with the correct answer. Uh, but I'm also told um, why, why is, uh, is, is uh, the, the, this particular answer the correct one. And, uh, and that's... Um, how the, the, you'd, you'd go through the modules, basically. Um, you do not have to complete all of your modules at one go, so you can uh, easily leave the module any, any time you like. Uh, the next time you come back, you can just click on it again, and it will uh, just lead you back to where you are, and you can resume it from there. You can just click Resume, and it will go back to exactly where you were. Um, 
I'll now show you, uh, to save time, I'll now show you what happens towards the end of a module uh, using my slides. So, at the end of a module, um, the pass rate is generally 70%. But uh, if the user fails to get to uh, fails the module, then they have the opportunity to retake the module as many times as they like. Once they've passed the module, then they're able to um, print their own certificate in the certificate and reflection section. So if they click on uh, print, then you click on get certificate. If you're doing this for the first time and you hadn't entered your um, name. Uh, then you're, you're requested for your uh, further details, such as your name and uh, surname. But if you had already entered that previously, then you'll uh, be provided with a certificate. This is an example of a certificate uh, added previously. And then we have other type certificates that for encouragement of use. Uh, for example, uh, a goal certificate for completing uh, 20 modules. Uh, you can also uh, view or add reflection on your portfolio. Um, and these are the sorts of things you can uh, write about. So for example, why, um, uh, so how this particular uh, module has helped you meet a certain objective and has there been um, any uh, outcomes or any, uh, anything, any, any changes in practice, for example, as to completing a particular module. Uh, what else can you do uh, at the end of the module? Uh, I think one thing we haven't seen uh, is the ability to uh, review the module itself. So let me see if I have it here or not. Okay, sorry, I do have it. So uh, one thing you can do at the end of the module is to review the module yourself. So you're able to tell us what you think about the module and how it can be improved. You're able to share it using social media. And you're able, to, as I said, to uh, if you have if you haven't passed, then you're able to retake it uh, as many times as you like. If you want to improve, if you passed and you want to improve your score, then you're also able to do that. If we go back to um, uh, this section here, the, the, what you can do next after completing the module uh, is that you can um, improve. Uh, your knowledge about particular, this particular field by uh, looking at related articles um, from the MJ. So these are some related articles, for example, uh, to this particular module that we're doing here. Uh, any queries so far about what we've seen on uh, BMJ learning? Okay. Uh, any queries about what we've seen so far on BMJ Learning? Okay. Anna, ما عرفت وش أسوي بعد ما سجلت. Okay. أنا ال um. أنا كنت أود منكم تسجلوا فقط يعني ما ما في داعي تعملون أي شيء الآن بعد التسجيل إذا بعد بعد التسجيل هي عندكم طريقتين لوجود ال ال المودجوز أو الوحدات التعليمية هي يا إما بعد البحث عن الوحدة التعليمية هون أو الضغط على Browse by Specialty أي نعم بعد التسجيل نضيف الوحدات صحيح أوكي الوحدات يمكنكم أي تضيفوها أو إذا كان عليكم الوقت يمكن تبدأ الوحدة التعليمية وتتعمل التست مع مع النهاية So um, I just wanted you to uh, register on BMJ Learning so that in future you won't have to do it uh, and you won't have any access issues. So now you've registered, you're able to use it, uh, come back to the learning site, learning.bnj.com directly and just log in and start using it. So either browse by specialty, 
look at uh, a, uh, a module that is of interest to you and complete it. Okay. يعني الفكرة واضحة بالنسبة للبي ام جي ليرنينج رجاء إذا كانت عندكم أي أسئلة بالنسبة للبي ام جي ليرنينج رجاء يعني كتابة الأسئلة إذا كانت عندكم أي أسئلة بالنسبة للبي ام جي ليرنينج وكيفية استخدام هذه الريسورس اوكي ان شاء الله ان شاء الله نحاول نتكلم اذا كان في في ناس يعني اشكاليه مع الانجليزيه نحاول نتكلم عربي وانجليزي ان شاء الله. هل هناك اي اسئله بما يخص كيفيه استعمال بي ام جي ليرنينج؟ هل الفكره واضحه يعني؟ لا يوجد مشكل واضح اوكي. شكرا. واضح شكرا شكرا جزيلا. اوكي الان uh, we'll uh, move on to BMJ best practice. اوكي so uh, BMJ best practice is a clinical decision support tool which uh, can be used um, at the point of care and can be used also as a point of reference for students. Um, it is structured around the patient consultation. It includes information of thousands of diagnoses and diagnostic tests. It's integrated with BMJ Clinical Evidence, which is a global authority in the field of evidence-based medicine. It's also seamlessly integrated with uh, drug databases, and you have access to Martindale. It's a drug formulary you have access to. Uh, it provides guidelines, uh, over 6,000 guidelines on uh, treatment and uh, uh, diagnosis guidelines. And the same with patient leaflets. It provides patient leaflets. Uh, these are in uh, are in plain English, uh, easy to understand English, uh, but the tool has the ability to uh, accept uh, other patient leaflets uh, in uh, any language. So the administrators at uh, universities, for example, can add patient leaflets or guidelines, local ones. Uh, searching can be done in 60 languages, including Arabic, and navigating the website can also be done in 17 languages, including Arabic. It's also available offline, uh, and you can download it via the App Store or Google Play. So just to summarize why people use the NJBS practice, so they use it because of the breadth of content it has, because the way that the information is structured, it's uh, concise, abilitated, and expandable. Uh, uh, rapid access formats. It has uh, the way the information is structured is unique. Uh, it has a step-by-step -step structure because it helps uh, put evidence into practice. As I said, it includes uh, great evidence uh, quality scores and systematic reviews uh, from uh, clinical evidence. So it has several personalization features and it supports uh, mobile use. So there are two main types of topics on BMJ best practice. So the first one is the um, assessment topic. And this is used for the assessment of a clinical problem or a symptom. And there is an example, the assessment of uh, inflamed joints. And the uh, second type is the condition topic. Uh, and this is used, uh, or it has information, uh, or comprehensive information on any particular um, condition. Uh, and that's an example there, rheumatoid uh, arthritis. There is another type of topic, which is called the overview topic, or overview monograph. 
and this provides a general synopsis of a group of uh, conditions. I've now listed some uh, popular searches uh, in Saudi, and then some uh, popular um, topics uh, again uh, in Saudi. Okay, so we'll have a look at the um, tool now. Of course, to get to this, because uh, hopefully um, all of you have uh, already registered, and um, uh, because you've hopefully all of you have registered, you'll be able to access this tool directly using any device by entering the email address and password that you've used on BMJ um, Learning. Um, so, as I said earlier, you can search in any uh, in 60 languages. Then, بحدي يمكن يكون في 60 لغة بما فيه اللغة العربية وأيضا يعني التوغل في الـ 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 best practice يمكن يكون بـ 17 لغة وبما فيها اللغة العربية OK, so sound, uh, does, can everyone hear me? OK, if, if anyone can just reply Hello. Uh, okay, thank you. So, I'll, I'll, first of all, I'll, let's have a look at the most recently updated topics uh, on the uh, bottom left corner here. So, here you'll see uh, latest topics we've been working on and updating. So, you can see we've been working. Uh, you can see actually all the 50 topics uh, that have been updated within the last uh, sort of months, really. Okay, so there are two two ways of finding information uh, on BMJ best practice. The first one is to search, uh, similar to uh, to BMJ Learning. نقول في هناك طريقتين لوجود لوجود المعلومات إما البحث زي BMJ Learning إما البحث أو show conditions. Okay, let's begin with uh, searching. So let's do um, a patient complaint. Uh, chest pain. Similar to BMJ learning, you have suggestions when you start typing. Here, uh, the results are listed by relevance. Um, المفروض المحاضرة الآن uh, احنا عملناها recording إن شاء الله وتكون موجودة uh, على uh, البوابة SDL وممكن أيضا على صفحة SDL بال, باليوتيوب إن شاء الله Okay, so So you can uh, um, refine your search using these t tabs at the top. If you have signed into your account, so your personal account, then you're able to save the search. Um, and you can navigate to um, either the main topic or you can navigate to the sections within uh, the topic. Okay, so let's have a look at an, an example of an assessment topic and uh, the uh, contents available in the assessment topic. So we have the summary initially. It's the first page that you see with the differentials uh, on the right. We have the etiology. There is um, an emer emergencies section here with uh, urgent considerations and the uh, red flags appearing 
with the red flags appearing on the um, right. Okay. Going into the diagnosis section, there is the uh, step by step approach. Um, one thing that your colleagues have time and time again told me about uh, BMJ best practice is that it's a fantastic tool um, for teaching. So not only students um, will learn how patients are cared for in the context of evidence-based medicine, expert opinion, um, and guidelines, uh, but also uh, it's, it's a tool that your colleagues find uh, is, is very useful for teaching. So there is, as I said, the step-by-step -step approach to diagnosis, uh, and these are references, as you may have guessed, and from here you're able to uh, go to the article uh, that's been cited here. And let's try and look at uh, how images are referenced. So you, you see little cameras here. And then you can see the, uh, for example, an ECG here that's been referenced. OK. That's a step-by-step -step approach. There is also the uh, differential diagnosis. Um, and this is um, an example of a highly structured modular, modular content uh, for comparison. So. You'll also notice from um, this particular uh, section here that, um, or from the, the whole of BMJ best practice really, is that uh, you're not bombarded with text. Um, so what you can do, as I said earlier, is concise, billeted, better spendable um, uh, formats. So if I click here, uh, I'll see the information pertaining to acute coronary syndrome, but I'm only provided information about the history and examination of the patient and the tests, the diagnostic tests. Uh, if I wanted to, I can always uh, go in deeper and reveal more information, or I can even go into the uh, comprehensive coverage um, of uh, uh, acute coronary syndrome. Uh, I believe there are probably uh, three different conditions. Into the going into the uh, resources uh, tab now. Uh, as I said, the, the references are always listed here, or the references used. Um, and let's look at the images as well. So uh, from here, you're able to select more than one image uh, and open them together if you wanted to. That's just an option. Otherwise, you can open one, Im one image at a time. Uh, you're free to use the images here um, for teaching purposes. Uh, uh, you can do that. All you need to do is just reference it uh, appropriately, uh, and you can find out how to do that um, in the FAQ section. Uh, any questions? OK, that's fine. OK, we'll now look at the other way of finding uh, information on BMJ best practice or finding topics and that is to show the conditions. So uh, we have the clinical specialties here. So you can see from the top, cardiovascular surgery, inners and throat, genetics, uh, and, so, and so on and so forth. Um, otherwise, you have all the conditions uh, listed at the top here. They're, they're listed alphabetically. I'll go into a, a, a favorite topic of mine. And that is diabetes. And I've just clicked on uh, diabetes type 2 in children. So here you have highlights from the different sections within uh, the topic. These are important highlights. Uh, so if I click here, this will lead me to different sections. Um, and these are the tabs uh, that are available in a condition topic. And you can see how easy it is to navigate from one section to the other. So, uh, for instance, what we found is that uh, for universities, uh, the most thing they'll be using would be the basic section, the diagnosis section, and the treatment section. But as I said, it contains information from the basics all the way down to the, the follow-up. Uh, just to go through these uh, sections here, so the basics would include the definition, the epidemiology, the etiology, uh, 
the pathophysiology and the classification by the different societies. We also have a prevention section. Uh, this particular one would have the primary prevention, for example, um, uh, um, it may have information about uh, weight, gaining weight to children. Um, also, um, secondary uh, prevention and screening as well. Going into the diagnosis section, we'll start off with the uh, history and examination. So we have key diagnostic factors and other factors. And on the right, we have OK. okay uh, is, do we have? <laughs> is is the sound issue? Is it with everyone, or can is other people who can hear me? صوت واضح جدا. Okay, I'm sorry for those. أعتبر اللي يعني الناس اللي ما يسمعوش. I'm sorry for those who can't hear me. So as as I was saying, um, we have on the right hand side here strong and weak uh, risk factors. And as I always say, you can expand the information uh, to expand the links to uh, view uh, more information. Okay, uh, great. So we have uh, a test section. We order tests by uh, first test to order and then others to consider. We've uh, already seen the differential in the other section, uh, in, in the other type of topic, but it's also available here with the differentiating signs and symptoms uh, and the, the differentiating tests you can do between the um, uh, conditions of similar uh, signs. Uh, the uh, condition topics uh, also have criteria. They also have uh, case histories. We generally have uh, a typical and atypical presentation of the condition, and this is also something that's quite useful for teaching. Going into this recent section, um, treatment is ordered by patient group. So we have the different patient groups uh, and also by uh, the stage of the condition. So we have acute and ongoing. Just an example of the uh, how the tr um, treatments are laid out. If you wanted to go into the drug formulary uh, for more comprehensive information about uh, any drug that's uh, listed, so we can just click on it, and this will take us to the drug formulary. There is also a step-by-step -step approach to treatment. If I just show you an example of a um, a link to uh, a greater evidence uh, quality score. So here there's a statement followed by this link here. Uh, so the evidence score here is C. It tells you what it means. And you can, from here, you're able to go into the evidence score. Uh, the other way of getting there would be by clicking on the evidence. Uh, before going there, I just wanted to mention that uh, some, some conditions would also have emerging treatments, um, and the guidelines would, of course, be here. The treatment guidelines would be here, and the uh, diagnostic, diagnostic guidelines would be here. Let's go into the evidence section now, just to um, just go through these um, uh, briefly. So from here, you're able to view the systematic uh, related systematic review questions. We have three in this particular topic. Uh, or you can go directly into to view the grade tables. Um, let's look at uh, one of these um, questions, systematic review questions. Um, uh, this is quite a, a, a powerful tool, really. So here we have um, all the different uh, interventions um, and uh, what the, the likelihood of benefits of the different uh, interventions. So um, this information has been summarized by uh, BMJ Hillican Evidence. Um, and it's, it makes it a lot easier for you um, to uh, find the information as opposed to um, reading the various uh, research articles. Um, if you wanted to, you can always uh, dig in deep, deeper into the information where you could go right down to uh, the uh, article where, the, for example, the randomized control trial has been published. Okay. Uh, whilst I'm here, I just want to mention a couple of um, other features. Uh, 
please ignore this one because it doesn't apply to uh, the location where you're at. But uh, you can add items uh, to your portfolio. As I said earlier, the uh, portfolio is used, the NJ portfolio is used to um, record of your, all of your learning, and that could include uh, learning from uh, BNJ best practice. You can bookmark any page. Another great thing that especially students like is making notes. So you can add notes to any page on BNJ best practice just by clicking this, this uh, little button here, and your notes will appear at the top of each page that you uh, choose to add notes to. Some of the tools um, are uh, sending us feedback from the tools button here. You can email any page as it is to a colleague. You can share the link with a colleague or a friend. And you can also print. You also have a follow-up section with recommendations, um, complications, which are also nicely laid out, and the prognosis. And then we have the uh, resources section. We saw the references and the images earlier. Um, we always list the, list the contributors. Uh, this particular topic has um, contributors from uh, three different countries. And then other, another important section would be the related content. So if uh, someone wanted to learn more about uh, the particular topic, they can do uh, a BNJ learning module. They can view similar topics on uh, BMJ best practice, or they can even look at the latest research we have related to this particular topic uh, by reading our journals, for example. Uh, if you don't have the time to do these things uh, there and then, then you can just select the items that you'd like to view at a later stage and add them to your portfolio to view at a later time. Actually, I'll do that now. So I've added these two items, uh, and then I'll show you how to uh, find these items. So all of the personal features that we've seen can be managed from this place here, my BMJ best practice. Uh, so let's start from the, the beginning here, let's start from the searches. So any searches I have, you know, I have some saved searches here, some bookmarks. You can reach your portfolio from here. So these are the items that I've just added now. Uh, type 2 diabetes in children on the 12th of March. So if I click on these, it'll take me to that uh, page with the two uh, items. If I go back. OK, not quite sure what's happened there. Um, but the idea is, uh, for example here, this will bring me back here uh, to find my um, items. Okay, so, and the notes, of course, they can also be managed from here. These are my personal notes, uh, and these can be, managed, can be managed from here as well, of course. Okay, so do we have any queries so far about the MJ best practice? There is um, one. Uh, important thing that I wanted to mention towards um, the end, of course, and that is the availability of the uh, BMJ uh, Best Practice app. So uh, if you had registered earlier using the link that I had sent you, um, then you'd be able to uh, just go to the Best Practice app tool. دخلنا عن طريق رابط بي ان جي بس بلرنينج صح اوكي اوكي اذا اذا انا عملت تسجيل على بي ان جي لرنينج يمكنكم بعدها الذهاب مباشره لبي ان جي بس براكتس واستعمال بي ان جي بس براكتس مباشره عن طريق الادريس يعني العنوان هذا اليو ار ال bestpractice.bmj.com أو يمكنكم أيضا تطليع الابلكيشن يعني تطبيق BMJ Best Practice تعمل سيرش على الأب ستور أو جوجل بلاي تعمل سيرش على BMJ Best Practice يمكن تطليع التطبيق هذا 
وتعملون يعني يو لوج ان يو كليك اون لوج ان اند يو انتر ذا ايميل ادريس اند ذا باسورد هذو نفس الايميل ادريس والباسورد اللي عملتوا تسجيل على اللي سجلت يعني على البي ان جي ليرنينج اتمنى يكون واضح الامر هون نقدر نبحث عن يمكن نبحث اوكي اعتذر انا ما مش لم افهم السؤال نقدر نبحث عن لم استطع قراءة الكلمة السؤال فيما يخص البحث عن بي ان جي بس تركيز المقالات اه ارتكلز اوكي بالطبع اي ارتكلز اعتقد اي ارتكلز اي يمكن يمكن البحث على بالطبع اوكي اي تمام البحث بالطبع كل كل شيء كل 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 اشياء في بي ان جي بس براكتس متاحه يعني كل شيء متاح بشكل يعني اوبن والان بالنسبه للارتكلز ريسيرش ارتكلز نمر الان على الجورنالز اكسس اللي عندكم ونتكلم على كيف يمكن البحث على الارتكلز البحث عن الارتكلز في الجورنالز فروم بي ان جي Uh, of course, uh, uh, most people would know us as being the uh, publisher of the world-renowned uh, journal, uh, the BMJ, or as it was previously known, the British Medical Journal. But uh, we do publish over 60 other titles. Um, our journals are the forefront of cutting-edge research, the latest thinking, experts' opinion, and news. Um, Some of these articles are um, uh, leaders in the field, and to name a few, uh, guts, thorax, the archives of disease in childhood. Um, what I've listed here are all the journals that you have access to through the uh, through the uh, Saudi Digital Library. Uh, I'm just trying to read the, the, the question here. Okay, so as I said, these are the journals that you have access to um, through uh, uh, these are journals from the NGO that you have access to. In terms of how to access them, um, it's exactly the same way uh, as you do for um, BMJ best practice. So from medical sciences, you just click on uh, BMJ journals and it will lead you to uh, this page here. So in terms of the question of how to search for articles, you can search for articles here uh, for full text uh, uh, articles or uh, abstracts. Uh, you have access to the majority of uh, um, uh, journals on this site. To uh, in total, including the open access journals, it's around uh, 40 journals you have access to. Um, inshallah, we'll have other sessions uh, and go into a little, a little bit more depth, depth about uh, searching on the journal sites um, in the coming sessions, inshallah. But uh, in terms of how to access the journal sites, uh, it's just uh, the same one that we've seen. You um, log into the SDL portal, you go to medical sciences, or by category first, and then medical sciences, and then it's just the uh, journals. It will lead you to this page. You can either search, do a quick search here, or you can have more options and then select which journal you'd like to search in. Uh, and of course, you can navigate to the journal that is of interest to you. For example, you may want to go to um, the BMJ from here. Uh, you can select the BMJ, and you can uh, go directly there. Okay. 
هل هناك اي اسئله؟ هل عندكم اي اسئله فيما يخص الموارد اللي شفناها اليوم؟ Do we have any questions at all about what we've seen today? No, thanks. Okay. So um, I'd like to thank you all for um, coming today, uh, for taking the time to attend this session. Um, and I hope that you found what you've seen today useful um, and that you'll uh, go back and um, sort of share the knowledge that you've gained with your um, colleagues, uh, your students. Um, uh, don't forget to download the app. So just search for BMJ Best Practice on Google Play or um, the App Store and you can just sign in with the username and password uh, from BMJ Learning. Uh, if you do have any queries after today's session, my email address is there. I thank you for your uh, positive comments there. Uh, but if you do have any further queries, uh, my email address is there. Barakallahu feekum. Shukran al al-hudur. Iza kan tfi ma kan tfi ayi asiyala ukhra. Na mungkin anhi al session al-an. Okay. Shukran. Shukran. Shukran al-jamia. Ma as-salamu. As-salamu alaykum.